Hello everyone, welcome to my unscripted video about my UI. Uh, many of you were asking in the comments what are the addons I use for the, the, the those hexagons that display my abilities, uh, about my bars, about, about a lot of stuff, right? And I don't want to repeat myself in the comments, honestly. It's, it's, uh, this video is mostly for me, right? Uh, I'll just link it to anyone that asks. So, what do we start with? Uh, let's start with default Blizzard UI. What do I use from it? Obviously you see minimap is default, so those uh, buffs, debuffs. Uh, because uh, I don't really toy with displaying buffs and debuffs, because if I really want to, to some, something to show, I usually use weak obras for that. And we will go through them later in this video. Besides like minimap, default are rate frames. And actually a couple of people in the comments asked me about my rate frames, so it's really simple, we just go to interface, rate profiles, and you click, you, you make new profile. I'll show you my profiles, how they look. This is the rate profile. It's, uh, I think, six people uh, vertical, and uh, it depends on the rate size horizontal, right? For a mythic, it's uh, three columns of six and two tanks right here. And this is for mythic plus, it's just five people in vertical row. You can make it horizontal if you wish. You just need to do something like that and it will be horizontal right so and this is for arenas with uh, percentage because like i i like to know if i can get executed right so anyways it's not about pvp uh let's let's get back to the how to make this one so new profile i'll i'll use default settings and see uh, and and show you how it's done so probably start with something like that and or actually no 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 if you even want those displays in, in your dungeon run right in dungeon group five man group three man group two man group you need to check this uh, checkbox don't really toy with it if you want this to display everywhere in bgs anywhere i'm used to it so i just use it everywhere uh, you check use rate style party frames and you probably start with something like that so First thing I ever do with well when I make this from scratch is display border off. Uh, it really annoys me. This is not nice. It's just uh, not 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 needed, right? And I want my things as simplistic as they can be. Anyways, uh, then we just make them bigger, longer. We can unlock them, put them here, make display class colors, even uh, display their pets power bars, incoming health, uh, heals, uh, yeah, it's basically the, the, if someone else is healing the target, if you're the healer, you'll see it, it coming, so you don't waste mana or anything. And you can uh, sort your group by role group or alphabetical. Then, for the chat box, if any of you is wondering, it's chatter. Uh, main feature of it, I installed it for, actually, is you can click links from it, uh, you can just copy links from it. Then we have uh, my abilities here. What is the add-on used for it? It's bartender. It lets you do anything you want with any of the bars you can see. Let's type slash bartender. And what can we do here? So we have all those bars here. Back bar, extraction bar, micro menu, menu uh, pet bar. Stance bar, vehicle bar, and all that stuff. Also, profiles if you don't want to do it from the scratch each time, you just save this profile and load it up on another tune you make. So it's it's very intuitive in my opinion. You can enable bars, disable them, like this is micro menu. This here. I have all most of my bars like with really low alpha because I do not want uh, visual and clutter while raiding. So my abilities are actually at 30% alpha right now. And if I hover over them, nothing nothing happens, unlike here, right? So if you want to show set up bar like this one, so if you hover over it, it only shows them. You'll need to do uh you need to go to uh, visibility and toy with fade out fall alpha and fade out delay. Uh nothing too complicated really. Uh if you unlock those, you can all move those all around. Pet bar, vehicle bar, all your ability bars. Uh, yeah, and extraction button. And uh, yeah, that's most of it. 
So now that we are on the bottom of my screen, let's talk about my Casper actually. So my Casper, as you can see, it displays the name of the spell. It displays latency and cast time. Uh, also, when I channel something, also displays uh, ticks of its healing, which is very useful. I mostly installed it because I like the look of it and it fits my, my vision of my UI. It's noses, however you read it. Uh, yeah, it's noses. Honestly, I I think I went with default settings or actually I just changed the size of it to fit this, this here, this space right here. So it's as long as my bars. Uh, yeah, there's Star Train, there's that preset I use, and it opens on every one of my tunes. You can uh, have bar configuration here, you have here. You can, yeah, unlock and you can see all of that. Uh, you can also set your focus uh, cast bars, like Arena cast bars, I believe. A lot of stuff. Also, you can... Uh, you can change some settings when it comes to, to channel abilities like the setting base I shown. Uh, now, again, bottom of my screen, details. So, uh, I, I think everyone uses details, honestly. Main thing about it is I changed some spacing, I believe. Maybe font, maybe looks of bars, but it's it's nothing important, really. Like, main, maybe main thing that I have two, two oh, windows open at the same time. Just go to window control and create window. You can set everything when it comes to, to your visual preference. I'll not bother with that. I'm just showing you which elements I use and what do I want displayed. So now, probably the, the, the most requested thing from my comments, which is actually Wikoras. Wikoras uh, is still to display anything that has to do with anything, honestly. You can make Wikora for anything. For example, you have this proc on your Red Paladin for a free Divine Storm and it only makes your Divine Storm glow. You don't want to sit hunched down over your bar, bars and then look for that proc. You want it telegraphed easily, like this thing right here. You probably were wondering what this thing is. It's actually progress texture for Ancient Teachings of the Monastery. I'll actually show you how it works. I press Essence Font at the end of the cast, this will show. You see there, there's 14 second buff on my buff bar and this is progress texture of how long of the buff still left. So it's pretty handy. It doesn't display normally. You, I need, need to, I would need to look right here, which like leaves my whole view of the situation and, and the game. And we don't want that. We want everything displayed around our character so we can focus on our character and movement positioning and then catch some of our UI while running. So for the rest of my stuff uh, isn't displaying right now because it loads only in combat, but you can recognize this thing from my videos. Uh, most of those like class week auras I use, for example, there's another one for uh, for other specs of monk, paladin, uh, pretty similar, also demon hunter should be somewhere. And there are a lot of weak cars, and I found uh, this this one. As a matter of fact, I found it on this site. I didn't make it. Uh, yeah, I, I, for for those kind of weak cars, I don't want to make them myself. But this this one is like really easy to make. Uh, if you want to to make this kind of weak car that tracks one of your buffs, just go to New Aura, choose whether you want it to to be a texture icon or text. Uh, in this case, I chosen texture. I've chosen the, the kind of texture and foreground color of it to match Monk a bit. So for it to even display you need to set up trigger and my trigger is a type of an aura that's on the player on myself which is buff and I am looking for it by name Ancient Teachings of the Monastery. As you can see when I cast Essence Font Ancient Teachings of the Monastery shows up right here. So. It fits, we can say, okay, got him, let's display this texture. Uh, you can also, uh, like, uh, there's a lot of a lot of things you can do, like I already said. Uh, you can look for spots by exact spell IDs, by stack count on the abilities, anything you want. That's for Ikoras. If you want anything more complicated, 
uh, just just Google it. And was last one I use, which is actually very minor if you watch my videos, it's the note right here. And this note is part of very big add-on, which is Exorcus Raid Tools. It is very, 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 very useful add-on, mostly for raid, leader, raid leaders, honestly, but for it to work properly, it requires whole raids to have it installed. You can set up note, as you can see, this is note from my guildmaster. Uh, it's uh, actually note that's, that plays into Wikora, right? So you can see already the importance of the both of those add-ons. This Wikora is set, it's priority for Soaks, I believe, in the last phase of Stone Legion General's mythic. There's Wikora that uses Exorcist Raid Tools note, so I can set a lot of stuff even between different add-ons you can do with that thing. Let's go through the through the most of these options. First one, like a uh, note, yeah, oh, you can, we can set personal note and there's note that your raid leader uh, sends, right? In personal note, we can type like 0.35, uh, we use Yulon and we can even make this of a color of a Yulon, I mean monk, and we can have icon of a monk and let's display it oh yeah you see this display right here so it's very handy yeah and it's actually pretty much any only thing i use exorcist raid tools for now obviously besides like mandatory stuff like visual notes we had on the keltas there are also like raid cooldowns you can have displayed for he from healers visual notes it's it's helpful not that important though raid inspect uh, it speaks for itself, it's raid in spec, like, right, like, class, spec, item level, items, pretty much it. Raid check, so if you have flasks, vantus, whatever, uh, and vital, so if you type to someone INV, uh, you get invited to a group and you can set, set requirements for it to work right here. Yeah, and honestly, I think we're done here. If you want to, if you want to know anything else, ask in the comments in this video actually answer those and maybe even like what is he doing <laughs> maybe even like uh, pin them or whatever or, or make a whole pinned comment about it thank you for watching i hope you have better idea of what's happening on my screen uh, i hope you can make this happen on your screen if you wish uh, so you can display anything you want to see if you are just here to to see what we cover i'm using i'm sorry for 20 minutes of your life anyways this was Jack from Deadpack, have a good one.